much for joining me today my name is Lydia and this is time with Lydia the pharmacist a warm welcome to you all if you are new to this channel this is a channel where we educate ourselves on common health problems we provide advice and information on health and well-being so please don't hesitate to hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos we are still in summer and the weather is still warm and I'm sure most of us have seen in the shops or we are using sunscreen products that have got SPF written on it. You would find sunscreen with SPF 15, SPF 30, SPF 50 and so on. And today I want to explain what SPF stands for and what it does. And also to indicate the fact that no matter your skin color, you do need to apply a sunscreen wherever you are based, especially when you're going out into the sun. So SPF stands for sun protection factor. And in any sunscreen product, SPF helps to block your skin from the sun's radiation. So the sun emits two types of radiation. We've got the UVA and the UVB rays. You know, the UVA rays are responsible for the signs of aging in the skin, like wrinkles and sagging. UVB rays are more carcinogenic and often responsible for sunburns. UVA rays also make UVB rays more reactive. So combined, the two can be really dangerous. You're exposed to harmful radiation from the sun virtually any time you're outside or near a window that has sunshine. That radiation has an effect on your skin, even if you are not prone to sunburn. That is, no matter your skin color. So now let's talk about sunscreen, SPF, and sun protection. You know, there's a popular misconception that SPF relates to time of solar exposure for example many people believe that if they normally get sunburn in one hour then an spf 15 sunscreen allows them to stay in the sun 15 hours that is 15 times longer without getting sunburn you know this is not true because spf is not directly related to time of solar exposure but the amount of solar exposure and this is because there are other factors that can impact the solar energy one important factor is the intensity of the solar energy for example a one hour exposure to the sun at 9 a.m and 15 minutes at 1 p.m may expose you to the same amount of solar energy generally it takes less time to be exposed to the same amount of solar energy at midday compared to early morning or late evening and this is because the sun is more intense at midday relative to the other times other factors include geographic location, your skin type, the amount of sunscreen you apply, and also the frequency of reapplication. Fair-skinned people are likely to absorb more solar energy than dark-skinned people under the same conditions. And the amount of sunscreen applied also impacts the amount of solar radiation absorbed. And this is because more sunscreen results in less solar energy absorption. Sunscreens wear off and become less effective with time. So the frequency with which they are applied is critical to limiting absorption of solar radiation. The reapplication frequency is also impacted by the activities that you are involved in. For example, if you swim whilst wearing a sunscreen, then there's a need for reapplication of the sunscreen more frequently because the water washes off the sunscreen. Also, when you carry out physical activity, there may be sweating. Sweating can get rid of 
the sunscreen that you have applied. In general, more frequent application is associated with less absorption of solar radiation. Because of the various factors that impact the amount of solar radiation, SPF does not reflect time in the sun. It reflects actually the amount of radiation that you are exposed to. In other words, SPF does not inform people about the time that can be spent in the sun without getting sunburn. Rather, SPF is a relative measure of the sunburn protection provided by sunscreens. So just to summarize what I have just said, to make it simpler to understand, if your skin would normally burn after 10 minutes in the sun, applying an SPF 15 sunscreen would allow you to stay in the sun without burning for approximately 150 minutes, a factor of 15 times longer. This is a rough estimate that depends on your skin type, the intensity of the sunlight, the amount of sunscreen you have used, and the frequency of application. So the question now is why then should we not use a really high SPF sunscreen? Sunscreens with really high SPF such as SPF 75 or SPF 100 do not offer significantly greater protection than SPF 30 and mislead people into thinking they have more protection than they actually do. Generally, a sunscreen with SPF 30 is recommended. Another question people ask is, do they still need a sunscreen if they have a darker skin? Many people mistakenly believe that individuals with darker skin don't need sunscreen. But one study found that rates of deadly skin cancer were higher among darker skin participants. So if you plan to be out in the sun long enough to risk burning, sunscreen needs to be applied twice. 30 minutes before going out and just before going out. And even whilst you are out, you need to reapply after two hours. Sunscreen should be applied to all exposed skin, including your face, your neck, your upper arms, if you're wearing something that is exposing your shoulders and your chest, your ears and your head, if you are bald. But you know, if you're bald, then a wide brimmed heart is better. Sunscreen needs to be reapplied liberally and frequently according to the manufacturer's instructions. This includes straight after you have been out of water, even if you used a water resistant one, and after towel drying, also after sweating and when it may have rubbed off. It is also recommended that you reapply a sunscreen every two hours as the sun can dry off your skin. So our takeaway today, using a sunscreen is an important way to reduce negative side effects of harmful UVA and UVB radiation from the sun. Adults of all ages and skin color should use at least an SPF 30 during all outdoor activities. Children over six months old should wear a cream-based sunscreen of at least SPF 30. Additionally, you shouldn't rely on just sunscreen as a way to avoid the sun's radiation. Protective clothing and shade can also help protect you from the sun. And I would advise that you check out my video on sunburn and how to treat sunburn. I will leave the link in the description box below. Remember I said we all need to apply a sunscreen no matter our skin color and the recommended SPF is 30. So make sure you grab yourself one when you next visit the shop. It is very important to protect ourselves from skin cancer especially. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. 
Also remember to share this video with family and friends. Leave your comments and your questions in the comment section and I would attend to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for your time today and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.